Hello everyone and welcome back to Paleo Pines. Today we're going to be telling you how to tame your own Styracosaurus. So these are known as friendly rock smashers and they're very important for getting rid of rocks and obstacles on your ranch and also navigating the map. Maybe getting through a big obstacle or rock that's blocking a path. So first of all, you'll need to find one. And a lot of Styracosaurus can be found at the bottom of the map, right outside your ranch near the stone bridge. Once you've located them and chosen your favorite color or pattern, you need to tame it or befriend the dinosaur. You do this by using your flute. So you need to match the Styracosaurus's tune and the colors. So as you can see here, it's red, yellow, then blue. Now there's rings around each color and that's the length of time you hold the button. So red is the bubble and two rings, so one, two, three. Yellow is just the one ring, one, two, and blue is just the one tap. And once you sing the right tune, it will go to this screen here and you have the option to befriend, feed, soothe, or leave. In the bottom right of the screen, we have a gauge with a pin. Now there is a green area where we need the pin to sit in order to befriend the dinosaur. Feeding them makes them excited and soothing them makes them sleepy. So we need the right balance in order to get that pin right in the green area. So as you can see, I've just fed the Styracosaurus. This has got him a bit too excited. So I've had to soothe him to get it in the green area. Once the pin sat in the green area, we can then give him a treat. Now it has to be a poppin from Pippin's stall in the town center. Now you need the right one though, as I found out here. I spent all my gold on a poppin, a crunchy poppin that the Styracosaurus did not like and it was not interested in. So I had to go all the way back to Pippin in the town center and demand she made a different poppin. In this case, I had to persuade her to make a juicy poppin because this is the type that Styracosaurus enjoy the most. Now, you'll need some strawberries and carrots in order for Pippin to make the juicy poppin. So you'll need to grow these or buy them from someone else in the market. If you've already got them, you can crack on and give them to Pippin and she will then put a special order on requests and make you a juicy poppin. You will now be able to see the juicy poppin along with the crunchy poppin in Pippin's shop and you'll unlock more poppins as you progress in the game to tame more and different types of dinosaurs. But back to taming our Styracosaurus. So let's get back over that bridge and tame him. So same drill as before. Find your dinosaur and use your flute to charm them. Matching the colors and holding each color down depending on the number of rings. So we have successfully piqued the curiosity of the Styracosaurus. And now it is time to feed him a treat. In this case, a bell pepper. Let's see how he reacts. Well, I think it's safe to say he approves. So where next? We're almost in the green. Let's feed him something else to see if we can get it right in the green zone. We've already fed him a bell pepper, so let's give him an apple. Nice juicy apple. And he enjoyed that as well. And you can see the pin is now directly center green. So let's click befriend and see what he thinks of the juicy popping. And when you're successful at befriending your Styracosaurus, you'll go over and give him a pet on his frill. And then you have the option to name your dinosaur. I'm going to name mine Stan the Styracosaurus. And once you've tamed your new dinosaur, you'll be the talk of the town. The local villagers will look in awe of your glory and wonder how on earth you've tamed such a majestic animal. Thank you very much for watching. If this has helped you on your Paleo Pines journey, then give us a like and also subscribe to the channel for more Paleo Pines content. You can check out our Paleo Pines playlist on screen now and also our Paleo Pines top 10 tips for starting out.